Hello everybody, it is me, Postmodern Cowboy, and welcome to episode 5, episode 5, pretty soon I'm going to need two hands, uh, episode 5 of Going Medieval. Going Medieval is a uh, community management sim, um, uh, the devs do, do use that term, um, it's a community management sim from Foxy Voxel, it's a management sim in the vein of RimWorld, um, which I have played on this channel before, um, and which I certainly will play on this channel again. Without further ado, we are in the midst of winter, and we're just trying to survive. You know, we're just we're just trying to get by. Um, I'm gonna slow time down for a second, but I'm gonna let the, the clock run down. So my priorities right now are actually to excavate the flooring underneath both of the buildings we built, and to <clears throat> consolidate a kitchen, a tailoring uh, workshop and an armory, um, and perhaps to set the stage to turn this into um, a, a library tower. Um, it's not going to stay that way. There will be a dedicated library, but for right now, it's the only structure I have left. And we're going to need we're going to need to do some research. You know, we actually have research to unlock, but I haven't constructed the uh, the workbench. So we're going to need to do that. Um, that's just sort of a non-negotiable thing. So. Without further ado, here we go. I'm gonna need to center this too in the uh, in the courtyard here. Just let that fit right there. Hmm. I guess we'll do the digging first, won't we? How are we on food? We're good on food. How are we on clothes? We're good on clothes. Is everybody? doing what they're told looks like it. Francis, for some reason, isn't wearing any armor. I guess his armor wore out, so we're going to need to get Francis some new armor. Um, and what are my... So, an ace is cooking. Everybody else is going to mine for a hot minute. Merchant short. That's good. This looks like a fine row. Now, I'm going to have to delete two of these beds in order to make this work, and some floor. And we're going to excavate everything. We're going to excavate the whole room, which should cause actually the center section of floor to collapse on itself. Um, that's, at this point, kind of unavoidable, I think. We're not going to... We're not going to lose the building, though, um, and the second floors are supported uh, differently. And there's beams on the second, uh, on the uh, the first floor of these structures. So, yeah, that should work. I'll make sure they excavate both of those, and we're actually going to dig a final trench uh, through. Go across the middle? No, I can't go across the middle because the stairs are there. So we're going to dig a final trench uh, through the animal pen. We're actually going to put a floor in the animal pen so that the uh, villagers can pass between the two buildings underground. That's the idea. <clears throat> Merchant's here already. Let's see, he's got... Uh... Oh, look at that. Looks like foodstuffs. I see uh, apples and carrots on his table and some stone bricks. So we will trade with him. Let's get some barley. We'll buy... We don't really need the apples. Beeswax um, we don't need because we're going to be making it soon, but... Ooh, he's got a lot of cabbage seeds, carrot seeds. Yeah, we'll buy those things for sure. And flax seeds. How about that? How about that? So what do we have to sell? Some sturdy summer clothes will go a long way. Don't want to sell any winter clothes. We'll sell more summer clothes. Always remake those. And... I don't know, like a mechanical component should do it. Yeah, we did it. Perfect. Okay. 
Good enough. Everybody's digging. I could even get ahead of the collapse issue, couldn't I? And have them prioritize digging on the B axis where the collapse is most likely. Basically just put a beam here. Uh, I don't even know if I need to deconstruct that shelf. Just put a beam in. I also know what happens under the stairs if I truly dig that out. Okay. The floor shouldn't collapse if that beam is present. If you've ever, uh, if you've ever done construction, <laughs> transferring weight in a structure by, uh, like, basically removing walls while installing beams is a uh, is, is, is a real thing that real people do. Um, it is hella intense. I've been inside of houses that are quite technically unsupported um, or, um, you know, <laughs> also lifted very, very heavy beams, like 400 pound beams with, with a couple people um, on our, our shoulders and backs. Boy, construction, I tell you. Those were actually all really sketch circumstances, but uh, but I lived. I lived, and uh, I learned I learned how to do it. And you know, you can charge a lot of money for that too. Um, making a home open concept, <laughs> it's like it's like eleven thousand dollars for uh, a day's work, uh, two days work maybe really, um, with setup and takedown and, and cleanup. But as part of a process, making the home open concept is worth eleven thousand dollars objectively to some. Some person who wants more space in their home. Usually, uh, you know, I live in a big city, so usually somebody with money um, who wants to open up the interior of their home. So it looks like one of those, you know, good living magazines. <laughs> so pro tip, um, learn to float houses. And I think that's the technical term um, is floating. Uh, it's transferring weight from, from one load bearing a wall frame um, to a beam that runs along the same track. You know, you can't really just remove the wall and then install the beam. Like, you have to have the beam in place and then get the beam right up and snug and then slowly, gradually remove the support. Okay, so they did trash that bed there. That's good. I'll have him deconstruct that as well. I'm, uh, I'm half paying attention to Twitter. I guess uh, Mikhail Gorbachev died. Uh, <laughs> gotta wonder how... Uh, how Pizza Hut tastes in hell. Oh wait, that's just Pizza Hut and the... Former Soviet Union. <laughs> okay, and we're gonna put stairs down there ASAP. That's a critical part of... Oh no, I didn't want to take apart the floor. Well, that was a misclick if there ever was one. Because if we don't get a... If we don't get a stairwell down, right away, we won't be able to put the beam in. So, yeah, it was the, the one beam did it. I can't even select the second beam to build. Um, so there's a lesson there. I think I think it's it's somewhat difficult to give those orders. Once the... F Maybe there's a way to do it. You need to like, delete the floor section. Okay, hang on. All right, Seward, you're going to do the digging. You dig there, and you dig there. I'll put the beam in right away. That works. Okay, dig that.
Okay. Take there, please. Actually, while I can select it, let's construct that. Great. So you can construct that, but I still can't select this one. See what I'm talking about? It'll only select the floor underneath it or the floor above it. But for some reason, you haven't. I don't know. That's a. It, it might even be like a bug. If you, if, but if, if you don't select it right away, and right after it's built, you won't be able to. You got to assign someone right away. Okay. And we're gonna need to. Oh, we got a sheep cut off on the. That's kind of funny. Could have seen that coming. Okay. So their mining days are, I think, at an end. There doesn't. Oh, I need to get some stone out of here, don't I? So that they will uh, build that floor section. Okay, let's call that good enough. I have to take this pit down one more level. We do have lots of food, though. That's good. Like That is a full-ass larder. Oh, lost a floor tile. That beam wasn't in place, so this building. Yeah, okay, interesting. But this floor is fine. It's a mystery to me why that might be. They're virtually identical building footprints. Except for where the stairs are, but that doesn't give support structure. think. Oh, well, who cares? It's there. It works. Um, so they're probably digging right now. Good. Now it's the nighttime of day eight. Uh, we need to get fermenting to get uh, some cheese happening. I want to get, uh, what do they call it? Uh, like a like a, like a junket. I mean, it's cheese making, right? But uh, they they make. Um, I mean, they do make junk, but they make something else. Uh, milk becomes like fermenting milk, and then you leave it to sit, and it becomes cheese over time. And uh, if I assign someone to do animal husbandry, these uh, goats will be milked on a a fairly frequent basis. You don't have to kill the goats for food. You can um, you can run a you can run a dairy, which is which is cool, right? Like, Foxy Voxel, if you can hear this, um, under building types, or room types, rather, under room types, you should add the buttery. It's the, the place where dairy, cheese, and the like were produced. And so the next priority is to bang a bunch of shelves in this room. Like, fill both basement rooms with shelves. And I'll never have a storage issue. Like, there will never be a point in time I'm like, I don't have somewhere to store that, or where things are getting, uh, what's the word I'm looking for, where things are getting... Like, right now, uh, misfiled. So they're getting misfiled. Like, right now I've got leather and linen cloth in my kitchen stockpile like it's a it's a minor issue like a you know i'm not gonna lose sleep about whether or not my okay I'm gonna put one behind the stairs and i can't put one there okay that's fine and these ones are just gonna get deleted and then I'll have to go through and I'll have to change, like, the actual, like, see, this one should be food only. Like, <laughs> right, that would have solved these problems. So maybe I should actually just do that right now while I'm um, to the ones that I can see clearly have filing issues. What are my people doing now that they're not digging? They're still probably digging, aren't they? Okay, now, folks, I need you to 
done enough digging for the year. I need you to, or uh, rather for this season, um, because there will be plenty of digging in the spring, um, but I, I need them to construct those floor, that floor so the goats are reunited. Um, unless someone's built that one section. I don't think they have. Somebody did floor that outer. Oh yeah, and they'll build too. That makes sense. And let's get uh, some what plant cutting going as the number two activity here. We'll go cut those trees. They're using wood off the stockpile. We only have 84 left, so that's going to go pretty quick when they're building shelves at that rate. Probably shouldn't actually use all my wood, but I'm going to use all my wood and then they're going to have to go cut more. Cutting wood in the winter is not the best either. If there's a cold snap, there's going to be a small issue. Is everyone still wearing winter clothing? Yeah. So winter clothing decays just like Francis's armor decayed, right? And it becomes like a... The thing you find out on the first cold night is like, oh yeah, my, uh, my, my, my winter coat wore out, so I, you know, don't have it anymore. It's like, uh, oh, okay. So I, like, and, and there's a little icon, that's what the red icon that popped up in the last video actually is. Um, there's a little red icon that pops up and tells you that a character has lost armor, but you gotta check that. You gotta, like, you know, check that with frequency. Um, otherwise, you know, your first notification will be that they're, uh, unhappy because they're cold. These guys are annoyed. What are they annoyed about? Desperately thirsty. We're getting there. Deprived of religious activities. And he's a probably Oak Brethren. No, he's a restitutionist. Ooh, he is getting annoyed. He could quit the community. Okay. So they they want Jesus. <laughs> That's not really a joke. Um also, they probably want a uh, a second floor bedroom here. Okay, let's pop wooden doors in there. I could have sworn this building had to. Maybe a. I... I guess it doesn't. We'll just duplicate this other building in there. We also need a place to stow a research table. So these nooks here, one can be for research. Is the research table two by two? No, it's three by three. Three by three. No, it would have to go in one of the one of the bedrooms as like an office. Okay. Because that's a pretty important thing to have right off the bat, so I can start to get. We got like a little, a little office there, and you can have two bookshelves. This is like a really small library, and then we'll put a bed in this other room. Oh, we lost a floor tile there. That's fun. We'll put a bed in that corner, and a stone brazier, and this room can have a stone brazier too. And I might put a wall weapon rack, which is a thing I haven't placed any of yet, but a wall weapon rack in each room now. So we're we're starting to Yeah, and they're they're building stuff. These beds these beds don't exist yet. Um that's fine. They just need hay, which there's plenty of, so it's just a matter of somebody getting or get coming around to it. They're building everything in some sort of order. Um we're also gonna need to place a restitutionist shrine here, and we'll put an Oak Brethren shrine in this building. Let's do that the other way around. We'll put the 
Brethren Shrine in the Taylor's building and the Restitutionist Shrine in the kitchen by the library. That's because I know who gravitates which, which alignment and uses which, uh, <laughs> like, crafting bench. Okay. Cold ass winter. I had someone talking to me about snow today, asking me how I'd clear snow from the property, and uh, it was interesting. Snow. Snow's okay. I like snow. Winter's nice. Good Canadian. That way. That way. I mean, I understand there are places in the world where snow and winter are not something that people do all the time, um, but it is something we do a lot of the year here, and we do it pretty well. Driving in snow is sketch. <laughs> no lie, no lie. Driving in snow, it's uh, it's a, it's a lot of fun. Um, we had a massive snowstorm here. Um, would have been last winter in like I want to say January. Um, but it was a big, big dumping of snow. Um, sometime after New Year's and uh, like probably. Four feet of snow, probably three and a half to four feet of uh, snow over <laughs> like a day. Um, and it piled up so goddamn high. And people tried to get places, and the other cars got stuck, and they got stuck. I saw people like waist deep in snow banks, just like contemplating all of their choices. <laughs> so I had to rip around that in a pickup truck and uh, and and clear snow. So that was that was something. Um, Totally unrelated to going medieval, but just snow. Snow is kind of triggering. It's like I look out the window, I see that, I'm like, oh, I have to work. <laughs> uh, but good times, good times. You gotta make, you gotta make money somehow, right? Okay, we gotta get those books off the floor in the kitchen. They don't belong there. The kitchen has a couple bookshelves. What the kitchen actually needs is... Uh, do I not have decorative objects? I do. I do have decorative objects. The kitchen needs um, pottery shelves. And if I put two pottery shelves, it will formally become a kitchen. We'll leave the wall of books because that's kind of cool. Um, no, I'm not going to put it there because I think that's going to be walled off in a second. I wonder where I put it here. You know what, I'm going to put it over here because there's going to be another crafting bench probably going in that space. And yeah, we're going to wall off the downstairs here. I can't, can I? I'd have to move the stairs. I guess I have to move the stairs. That's fine. Better now while I'm thinking about it than later when I'm like, why didn't I move the stairs before? And see, the floor didn't collapse. Oh, I guess because the stairs are still there. We'll, we'll see what happens with this. They really, and they do the delete orders uh, almost right away. Like the build orders can be prioritized, but if you give them a delete order, they're like on it. Someone And someone gets dispatched to knock down the thing you want gone. They're already building, look. Yeah, this is gonna be a, I guess I can test out the, the downstairs separation design. So the reason, why would I be doing this? Uh, the reason's pretty simple. Um, I'm gonna have to move that bed too. That's okay. There are bound to be more beds. Maybe he's working on one. I don't even know what he's working on. They really are building those beds last though. They should prioritize though, because we, we have some wood, I think. We cut, yeah, we did cut wood. Yeah, so we'll get around to it. This, and that's the bottleneck in my winter construct. So we, yeah, we created a bedroom, that's great. And we made a kitchen. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. And this 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 room's a little bit different um, insofar as the stairs there are in the middle, and the stairs here are at the edge. Oh, 
I guess we've got a fermenter now so we can start to curdle and that's what it's called curdling milk and we're just gonna set forever and now I'm gonna pull someone off everything else and put them on animal husbandry I like to put two of them on animal husbandry and her on research number two and we'll slow this down a little bit Uh, animal husbandry goes to one. Yeah, that's that's fantastic. Uh, he doesn't need a research though. What should he be doing? Uh, there's no animal stuff to do. He should still be cutting plants or yeah, or hunting. Cool. And they're working on it all. And we've got shrines, so that should. That should make more people less annoyed, theoretically. Really, I can't believe they're getting annoyed. They, ha I guess, it's just the winter. This has a dampener, a damping effect on their morale because they're they've got diverse food. They're not starving. Granted, they are. We made a library. Look at that. They are running out of food. Like, if winter were to continue for another four days, they would be out of food. But in two days, we'll we'll still have plenty of food. Um, we are kind of low on barley though, and I, I didn't use any, so. But as soon as the season clears, we're gonna get that in the ground. Okay. So we've got a library, but we're not we're not quite there yet. We've dug the tunnel underneath. And two like this is Sue terrain. Like this is this is just a cold storage, basement cold storage. Um a very large uh, well-designed basement cold storage that um, I'm also going to put uh, just as a uh, let me put it there though and that's going to be animal carcasses so animals can go down there and actually you know what because it's something we can make and we'll be able to make when we do the research in fact I might do it right away with one day left in winter I, I might not be able to um, but if I go look under uh, what would it be under? I guess it's under material, and then it's manufactured, technically. we we'll talk about what that means, but, uh, and it's the ice block. So you can put ice blocks in the room, and the ice blocks will keep the temperature low. But you have to make them, which means I need someone to do research right now. Uh, who can research? So, that's our highest level researcher. It's also a cook. So I'll put her research to number two, because she's got nothing to cook. And we're going to send her right now to the bench. We're going to get as many chronicles as we can. Um, I think that's what they're called, what we're looking for. Um, textbooks. We're going to need as many tech chronicles of the blue ones. We're going to need as many textbooks as we can, as quickly as we can. Um, I think I need, what, eight for making ice. And if I made ice, that would really... Uh, I might not be able to this winter. I'd like... It might even be below zero tomorrow. It needs to be below zero. So <laughs> if we have one cold night or if there's like a magic cold snap, this could be, oh, see, her winter clothes just broke. That's what that symbol is. Um, her armor broke or her clothes broke. She just went and picked up another set of clothes. Look at that. We've got, so we've got uh, in the tower. Uh, oh, we had. So that was, she got the last winter clothes. That's pretty good. We're going to need to get this uh, ground floor tailor up and running here. I think the easiest way to do that is to build a new bench. Uh, sewing station. That's what I'm looking for. Put a sewing station and I guess it's technically a, a workshop so we can put in a tool racks. wasn't it that's not it okay there's a merchant visiting town there it is wall tool shelf geez can't put it on the stairs so that's not really a wall oh, I want to put it in that little annex there in the back I can only put one that's really funny okay Could make summer clothes and hats. I don't know if hats provide any actual benefit beyond aesthetics, but 
they are supposed to be wearing streetwear, right? That's once I get to a technological level where they no longer have to be living in their armor. Um, this room will be full of uh, stands in the uh, the armory uh, slash um, smithy barracks building. Um, there'll be like armor stands and weapon racks in that in that structure. That's the plan anyway. Pile of sticks here, not doing anything. How many beds do I have in good cover? Two, three, four, five, six beds in good cover in a community of seven people. And we've got beds in the tower. So making controversial decisions here, these beds are no longer useful where they are. And they'll, they'll dismantle them. Yeah, they'll dismantle them right away. That is... That is good. Not forget the merchant. But you actually have to talk to her. <laughs> she just walks up and like <laughs> peruses her stand and then <laughs> goes back like, no, I sent you to buy something. <laughs> like, uh, oh, junk, it's worth a lot. And I have some. Great. I don't care. So junk, it's like a soft, soft, curdy yogurty thing. Um, I think it, I think it's sweetened. I'm not, I'm not sure how, but, uh, it's like, it's like yogurt really. Like that's the, the comparison, but I think it's enjoyed mostly at room temperature or just below. Man, medieval air conditioning is bonkers. That is, that is really cool stuff. I think I mentioned that in the last stream, chucking water on a tile floor, like, Temperature management. Foxy Voxel, if you're listening, put that in this game. <laughs> There's more temperature management options when you give us fire. Give us, I guess, because we can throw a bucket of water. And a bucket of water should, if the room is ventilated, if it's open to the atmosphere, reduce its temperature. Um, but maybe it should do something else in the room, like... Risk decaying the food faster. I don't, I don't know. I guess that wouldn't make sense because you're air conditioning. But. Uh, so yeah, I got a red flashing thing because we're at a... And this isn't actually... Still not running out of food though. We've got food for at least three days. So the rest of the season. Uh, under research, ice making. How many... So she just, she just got it. All right, I could just get beekeeping. It's the morning of day 12, so tomorrow's the first day of spring. I don't think it's going to dip below zero again. So, of these two, what makes the most sense? Clay brick making could be useful, too, right away, um, and make turn... If I had a lot of trees, if I was planting a lot of trees, I could turn uh, wood into coal and then use coal as fuel in all the things, which is much more efficient for uh, the castle. Decorative banners, I'm not going to build a great hall anytime soon. Beekeeping is useful, and brewing is useful, but I don't have enough barley to brew with. But I do have the ability to get beekeeping and brewing, and we can make mead. Um, we can make lots of mead this summer, um, because my settlers are becoming annoyed. Do I take beekeeping or brewing first? I take beekeeping first, of course. What kind of question is that? Um, so skeps are little beehives. Um, put it at the back of the animal pen. It feels weird for some reason. This is kind of a hostile semi-indoor space, the courtyard, right? Like it's not... Uh, can you keep bees in the courtyards? You keep bees out here, couldn't I? For now. 
So this isn't going to be developed anytime soon. I, I might as well garden on this hill. I might grow herbs there. Put an herb garden on the hill. This is all going to be walled and yeah, you know what? I think this, I think this is going to look really cool when I'm done. This is going to look really cool. It'll be an herb garden here, at least within that square. Okay, and we're going to put some skeps uh, on the level below it. Why not just put five? I don't know how long it takes the uh, the crafter, or really what skill it takes to craft. Does it does it say? Uh, if these work hard, required skill to build. I've already dropped the materials. They're like on it. They're like skeps. Yep. If this makes sense, then they really want to drink. Yeah, we did buy from that merchant. That's awesome. Let's make mead. Okay. See, the, the Christian's wearing a cap, and they should all be wearing caps, and when there's an attack, when there's an enemy raid, you should recall all of your working villagers to the castle, uh, maybe keep one or two villagers in armor as guards um, or as dedicated fighters. You know, I do have, like, the mercenary. Um, yeah, I, I definitely do have characters who could play that role within the uh, community. You know, you, you don't really, like, there's no election uh, for leader or a dedicated leader trait, um, nor is there a monarch, which is cool. Um, but you could, you could put a crown on someone's head um, and have them wear only a crown and uh, fine clothes are better. And, you know, limit them to those noble tasks like research and cooking or, or whatever, right? Like, but each character does sort of take their own personality on based on how you dress them. But I haven't, uh, you know, I haven't bothered. These guys are all wearing armor right now because we're, st we're still in like a, a fairly rustic mode this is not a it's not a community um with a lot of a lot of wealth um or really a lot of ability to do anything beyond live here um, but they are they are living here and they've raised structures stone structures and it looks like they intend to build more so take note Boy, so skeps produce. I think it's just a. I don't even care. They can all go do it for all I care. We'll just live on honey. Live on honey. It'll be a uh, hallucinogenic honey, like the the honey mentioned in Anabasis by Xenophon. Um, in the somewhere in the mountains of, of Anatolia, there is a, a valley in which there are bees that are respected for the um, complexity of their honey, um, and so people gorge themselves in the honey. And of course, it's uh, like LSD honey, and they have like ecstatic religious experiences. That's a pretty funny story. I think <laughs> there's. There's one of those things in literature that you come back to and you're like, that was a cool moment. Like, and, and Xenophon's not really doing like heroic epics or, or literature. It's, it's, uh, it's mostly just war journalism, right? Like ancient, ancient Athenian war journalism. Um, but <laughs> the LSD honey Valley, that's cool. I'm a, <laughs> I'm a fan of that story. Anyway. Those were hard guys in hard, hard times. <laughs> I think is the way you would say that now. Uh, okay. I'm storing, yeah, so we're storing food in the cloth. There's just not enough material to bother sorting it out right now. We're actually, all our stores are running low. I'm just, I just built the larder in anticipation of a bountiful summer. Um, we'll see at the end of the summer how we have done. Um, that, that may be the next episode, like the, the spring, summer, like stock the larder. Right? Uh, we'll see, but... Everyone's got good bets. 
Except for Christian, who's sleeping in the tower on a mat like a cannibal. Someone tried with him, though. They called him Christian, right? They, 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 they tried. Okay, so. Frank's not doing so good. He went to pray. Alright, he had a mental break and he's just like, I need Jesus. And he's a Christian, right? Ah, it's spring. Look at that. So it's time to get our barley crop in the ground. Everything else stops. This is the number one priority. So we're going to need to do two things. We're going to need to drop the barley and we're going to need to build a fence. Now I got 90 barley. I want to put them in rows of nine. So we're going to build 10 rows of nine and we're going to start from about here. And um, yeah. So a row of nine. And then you space your rows out. Why do you space your rows out? Well, there's a downside to planting crops. You can get crop blight. So spacing your rows out limits the ability of blight to travel laterally through your crops. And so when you create that space between your vegetables by placing them in rows, um, things that impact plants will only impact the immediately adjacent plants. If you leave it for a long time, it'll impact all the plants in that row and maybe spread to other rows. But at, at its outset, when you first identify it, um, all you got to do is uh, have adequate space between your plants and they don't um, like cross contaminate each other that way. So I won't put a gate there. I don't know why I'll put a gate there, but I'm going to put a gate there. I feel like the only reason you put a gate on a field is if you want to put animals in it. And I guess it's possible that the animals could be put out to graze. When there's, when there's enough barley and enough hay stocked, or if the hay is fresh cut, you can also let the animals out to graze and they'll eat whatever, and you're still probably going to get a crop so long as you move them back in time. And depending on what's going on with my animals, whether they're in for milking, which is a thing I can do, um, I can, you know, bring all the animals in at once by prioritizing that task and then, like, have several characters milk the animals. Um, I should just run the clock on this, though. Yeah, that's great. Just change the aesthetics of the fence corners here while I have a second. I don't know which way that one's going to face. The wrong way. What are they doing? Oh, they're getting wood. Makes sense. Uh, oh, most important thing, we're on the clock, he says. I haven't actually told them to prioritize the harvest. Uh, but it's not a harvest, is it? It's a planting. I haven't told them to prioritize the planting. Okay. Uh, no harvest. Just throw that out for now. Okay and stop building things for now. Every, everybody else, animal husbandry, we can stop for a moment. Cooking, let's stop, we don't need to cook. And research is a uh, lower priority for both of them, but was being done. So speaking of which, do I have the ability to, I can get brewing now. So we're also gonna build a brew station. Okay, uh, I might have to move the bookshelves, we will see, but a brewing station should fit in that corner. Yeah, can't be placed there. Can't be placed there. Oh, there's a hole in the floor. Huh. Well, whatever, it's being placed there, I don't, I don't care. We'll give somebody a build order and at some point that'll get plugged. I like how he's building the fence before doing the planting, though. That's really something. What other things can I plant? I'm going to need to plant a crap ton of cabbage. Let's have the cabbagiest cabbage fields. Uh, what side do I put that on? I could put it right out front here. 
uh, how many seeds do I have? 90 seeds again. So we're going to do uh, rows of 10. What, uh, tree in a row here? Yeah. Two, three, four, five, six. Six rows of ten, that's sixty. Uh, I could go vertically. How many is that? Seven. So seven times six is thirty-five. Wonderful. That's going to be a lot of, a lot of cabbage. That's a lot of cabbage. Yep, nothing else needs doing. They just need to plant. Damn it, they're planting trees first. That's a little frustrating. Oh, and they're only recognized as... Okay, well, this is the best I can do. Well, I can't delete them either. I can't cancel them. Why? Plant crops before you plant trees, guys. There's so many... There's so many empty spots. Actually, not that many empty spots, are there? Just like... Okay, yeah, we'll, we'll, let, them, we'll let them do what they're doing. It's the evening of spring day one. They've built a fence there. They've started. Okay. So evening of spring day one, we'll still get to, uh, like four cabbage crops and uh, two barley crops, but we're going to, we're going to just have a metric fuck ton of cabbages early on. We're going to fill this larder and then we're going to make like things with it. Uh, yeah, there's like fermented vegetable production, right? You can make a fermenting mash with fermented vegetables. Um, I don't know what you get out of that, maybe like vinegar or something, but like, that makes sense to me. Could make wine. I don't know if wine is a thing in this game. Um, but as soon as we start to get honey, we're going to make ale. And the bees are working. So they go, they like prime the bees, and then the bees work, and this timer ticks down. And then the bees are finished working, and then somebody goes and collects wax and honey from the hive so the more hives you have the better um i might like ultimately have double that number of hives plus i think you use the wax later for uh candles which become a, like a really good internal lighting in all the rooms um and just adding to the like livability of your base because like admittedly this is a pretty dark base aside from the fires just burning to keep them alive it's a pretty dark base. Um, there's a couple there's outdoor torches on the uh, the entrances. That's not really just for aesthetics. It's like, because it's dark over here. <laughs> like, um, at least it was, and now that it's time's moving on. But uh, she's sleeping in the tower. Yeah, I gotta do something with this tower. Uh, let's see. I got about uh, 15, 20 minutes left on this stream, and um, they're planting. Oh, there's a merchant. There's a merchant. It's the merchant's guards. Some merchants. No, oh, you go talk to the merchants. Merchants selling weapons. I don't really care. She won't stay awake. Go talk to the merchant, damn it. Okay, nothing. Nothing worth overpriced mechanical components. Some textbooks. If I if I was in dire need, I could like sell gold if I had gold bars, which we're gonna have gold bars um soon. In fact, yeah, in fact I've got 30 gold ingots now. I could I could buy those textbooks and get the research faster. What what do I need imminently? Is there anything? Clay brick making will be nice, but I'm not Furniture 2 would be fantastic. That would change a lot, because the next attack, I'd be putting uh, things right on, like, racks. We'd have, like, a dedicated armory in here. Um, and the tailor would be 
producing summer clothes, which is something we need to do. Oh, he is producing summer clothes. Let's make uh, until I have uh, just go with nine and four and four. And we'll go with until you have Yeah, and that, uh, I don't know how they're going to manage that production. Maybe I should make multiple benches, each with each producing one thing, but I, I feel like someone will eventually get around to it, um, you know, when they're satisfied the criteria in order. Uh, so we're not going to buy her books. I want to keep my gold for now. Like if somebody came by with some, uh, like like a whole bunch of bulk seeds and stuff, like, I, yeah, I would buy that because we're, we don't actually have that many seeds this season. Um, we need to, we need to drop an 80, uh, block flax field though over here and it's just spread out here Seven times how many? Times eleven. Yeah, that's so. I've got so it's an eighty. Yeah, that's fine. Um, we these trees need to go. They'll go. And so that should be fenced, I guess. I don't know if anything eats flax. Let's not find out. It's a facile issue to build the fence. That gate's gonna need reinforcing soon too. In fact, I might spend the last part of the stream just doing that because. There's probably an attack coming, so I'm gonna I'm gonna talk through what I want to do, but I, while I do it, um, but I would like to dig for the time being, a. I guess it's a moat technically, um, but an outer. Uh, ditch. It's just one block deep, an outer one block deep, an outer ditch, um, which is gonna be backed by. Uh, stone arch and that stone arch is going to have two reinforced doors and then two oh please let me flip those don't make me <sighs> that's annoying really I wonder why is it because it's adjacent to a door I think it's because it's adjacent to a door. Huh, I wonder. I wonder if that's a thing. You get a double door. No, it's not a thing. Unless it was like some kind of weird sally port, but this isn't a sally port. This is a gate. Um, I should actually probably line it up with the stairs though, eh? That would make a, a lot of sense. Well, just let me select those. Didn't select Good. Okay. So I'm going to put it in line because um, I'm not a monster. Although sometimes, you know, sometimes putting something out of line is a better idea. So what I'm actually going to do is we're going to build double doors and then uh, portcullis. Uh, and there will be a limestone floor over the ditch. But basically creating this smaller... Yeah, that's... Wait, does that go the right way? No, it doesn't go the right way. Do any doors go the right way if I place them there? That can be rotated. So it's just a bug with those door types, the fully square doors. Whatever. Um, I'll close those. Could be taller, could be one unit taller. 
you know what? It's not going to be used. No one's ever going to stand on it. What it's there for is to keep the enemy away from the base of the wall, uh, meaning that their infantry and archers all have to stay on this side, as opposed to clustering down here at the base of the stairs, where I've got really close shots. But a longer shot will allow the arrow to build up some... Uh, what's the term? Like speed, some some moment, some momentum, um, kinetic energy, and when it hits uh, the person it hits, it's going to do more damage if it flies a little further and, and better. Like these short down shots just don't have the the right ballistic attributes. Um, and that is the thing that's modeled in this game. Okay. So our outer gate's going to be fortified at some point. Would be interesting. Maybe I'll still put a wall walk on just that front lip with wooden stairs running up to it just for uh, functional and aesthetic reasons. But it just, it just makes the structure make a little bit more sense than... There's different ways to do it. In a city, it can just be a single archway on the other side of a ditch because that's a very valid way of... Uh, creating access control. And yeah, construction's being done. Um, I don't need to gate the cabbage field, don't think. Yeah, things are going really well. Uh, I thought I planted apple trees though, and I'm down to one. Maybe they got cut down in the winter. Um, I'm not quite sure what happens. Um, do I have apple seedlings on that? I don't. I have one apple tree, that's okay. By the end of the season, we'll have like probably six apple trees. From that, provided nobody cuts that baby fledgling apple tree down. Get some golds. Um, we are running low on food though, so we're gonna need to start uh, cooking. Is there anything to cook? A bunch of goats. And there's a bunch of animals over here. So, sewers, go hunt. And get you guys back an animal husbandry because I feel like no cheese got made, we just made junk it. And sort of click drag hunt. Who did I assign that to? Yeah. And what do I have for animals here now? Many, many mature goats. Two female mature goats. Only one male mature goat. Two male mature goats. So the older one is going to get it. And young, so I'll also kill one of the females. Because you only really need the one male goat. Oh, they're already dead. Look at that. Oh, grim. I'm like sitting there looking, I'm like waiting for somebody to go kill them. Um, and it's midnight, and they're already dead. We just went and like... In fact, I don't know if they're going to get cooked anytime soon because everybody else has other priorities. That's really funny. Uh, I need to get them down to the stockpile. See, the basement's six degrees inside, so that's it's not particularly cold. Like, it's warm enough that meat will spoil down there, even on the shelves. But uh, everything else is going to take a long time to decompose. Stew is lasting. The red, the red currant pie is really lasting, like... I think it'll eventually, yeah, it'll eventually decay, but it's quite slow in that temperature. Um, and that's fine. That's all I need. I need, it's just a refrigeration. So we're, we're, we're always getting new foodstuffs, and eventually we'll build up just like a mighty larder where things will be coming in far faster than they spoil. It's uh, sort of a priority here. So not much has changed geography-wise. I'm actually going to... Uh, I want this built. They're done planting. And everybody's doing what they should be doing. Uh, Cook shouldn't be constructing. And they'll, they'll bang that together in day four of spring, likely.
really doesn't need that. Of course they went to the fence first, because the fence is really the priority over there. Ah, oh, whatever. And they need to dig too, don't they? So let's go construct and then mine. Take them off cutting plants, because there's some, there's some wood anyway. They're <laughs> just... Well, I'll use some of my sticks anyway. Medieval fences didn't look like that. They're, uh, they're more like they've got a closed lattice much of the time when someone's hunting. I don't have great hope he's going to bag something, but I'd be surprised. Whoa! Good job, sewage. You brought home dinner. Just in time, too. Um, get another, another two days worth of food, probably. A day. I think it was a little off on my original last time at the start of this episode. I was like, and here we are, summer day four, after passing with four days of winter. So this, I, I guess this is technically a barbican, um, but this, this outer gate structure is just going to keep them in range of my archers um, and out of range of the foot of the wall. Not that they can, like, scale or undermine, um, but... They're not immediately rushing my main doors, which increases my stress level, right? I'm like, oh, they're be beaten on the gates. But if they're just at the Barbican, um, I can just pe put, pe put archers on the walls there. And those walls are going to get taller uh, pretty soon. That's going to be maybe the very next thing I do is uh, fortify the gatehouse. Great. Great job, team. An apple tree is growing in a weird spot, but whatever. That's cool. That's really cool. You know, it's not super sophisticated uh, defense, but and then I'm 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 quite likely going to dig another ditch here, uh, and make the access from this Barbican through a covered bridge over it, um, and we're gonna we're gonna try doing that. Or I may, you know, actually, that may come off this side. You know what? I think I'm, I think I'm going to do a covered bridge off of this side, so that there's another way that people can enter and exit. But it'll be a little bit, uh, like again, built built defensively, and it'll it'll have to wait until there's a, a wall on this side. What like at this rate, episode nine or ten, episode nine or ten of of probably twelve to get this place where I want it to. Um, I am uh, I am I am playing an iterative save um, from time to time now, uh, just figuring out what's going to happen, um, blocking out structures so that that I can build them now, um, because you know I'm I'm doing this for uh, for your for your entertainment for uh, to to show you uh, going medieval, which is a mini management sim from Foxy Voxel. Um, that's about it for me for now. This has been Postmodern Cowboy. Uh, yeah. Thanks so much for watching. If you like watching me play games, subscribe to my channel. Uh, check out my Twitter, Pomo underscore Cowboy. Uh, engage me in spirit of political debate. I don't care. Just don't like, stalk me, harass me, or threaten me. Um, and pay attention to the Kaffel story and Kiwi Farms. Pay attention to that stuff, people. Pay attention. Uh, okay. Thanks so much for watching. Keep it peaceful out there.